Youth runner here with uh, Oregon Mountain Star, Jaron Wisner, 1449-5, uh, uh, battling uh, the reigning champion, now the two-time champion, Benji Anderson, for one of the all-time great performances, uh, certainly by anybody from New Mexico, but especially uh, by anybody here at the History of the Liberty Bell Invitational. Jaron, uh, obviously, you know, I know that you want to be able to see some of these people, you know, uh, at, you know, ahead of the postseason, whether that's, you know, uh, Nike Southwest or, uh, or, you know, or Foot Locker or both. Uh, so I know it's only September 14th, but this has got to be a huge confidence booster. Yeah, uh, definitely. I started out the season kind of a little bit behind where I thought I should be. So um, each race has just been chipping and chipping away at, uh, you know, getting better, things that I need to fine tune, stuff like that. So I was just really happy that I got to come up here and get to, to race some of this competition, especially Benjamin Anderson. And um, I mean, I'm not super familiar with the Colorado scene, uh, but after this, I definitely love to be, you know? Well, like I would always say to, uh, to Corbin that, uh, that, uh, that, you know, uh, any time that he would come to, uh, to, uh, to Arizona or anywhere outside of New Mexico, uh, they're going to be really familiar with you uh, by the time we get to November. Uh, having, you know, a guy like Benji that, you know, that won last year and even Benjamin Adams, his teammate right behind, like that are familiar with the course, like uh, did that benefit, benefit you just in terms of kind of uh, you know, understanding like you know, where you felt like your pacing should be and you know, like, you know, when they moved, like you could react to their moves as well? Uh, actually, it didn't uh, play as much of a, a big uh, like strategy like to going into the race. Um, I knew that they were going to be good. I knew that they were fast. Of course, I know his time from last year, you know. So I knew the pace to expect, stuff like that. Um, I actually expected the start to be a lot faster. Um, I got open the first 400 in like 62, just yeah. that downhill. Uh, but I, I was, I was, I'm always pretty comfortable with leading. So um, I think kind of just getting out there, establishing myself from the start, and then going along with them once the the pack like catches up, you know. Right. Uh, I think that's what uh, was really nice, um, and especially just having so much depth in the Colorado scene too. Um, so like even if someone does make a, a big move to get away, like I think. Benji kind of made uh, or got away at around like 3K or somewhere like that. Uh, but there's a guy from Valor. I don't know his name yet. I'm gonna catch up with him. Katie Dendorfer, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so having him kind of be right along with like with me and having someone to keep keep with and still stay competitive even though there's a little bit of a gap. That's what really helped and uh, like that's what helped me stay strong through the third and K, fourth K, and then and that fifth K was just closing that gap. You know. Obviously, you know, the elevation's never, uh, never an issue uh, uh, for you, but uh, the fact, usually they've always gone, like, maybe with some of the, you know, Division One races or Division Two races and then into the sweeps. When you saw that you got the first slot, like, uh, how much did that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, I think it's definitely beneficial to have time, firstly, to get out there and run the course. Uh, I actually got lost uh, when on my warm-up trying to run it, um, so that part kind of sucked, and I was blind pretty much going into the next, like, two and th uh, third mile. Um, but yeah, it was just, uh, it was really nice to be able to get out there and start right away instead of having to wait for a lot of other races to go through. Awesome. Uh, are we, are, are we going to see you traveling outside of New Mexico again? Um, I mean, I think, de uh, Desert Twilight maybe? No, we have our home meet that meet. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're trying to, and, uh, I know my teammate will be up in Woodbridge yep. next weekend. Yep. Um, but I won't be going to that one, so it's just kind of waiting for NXR, state, you know, stuff like that to come around. But, um, you know, definitely getting to NXR. Uh, we have like an all-star meet in New Mexico uh, that my coach hosts, so I'll be doing that one as well. And then hopefully making it to, to NXN, and then uh, if not, then probably I'll go to running lane again. Okay. Jaren, uh when I saw you on the uh, on the entry list, I was fired up. Obviously, I'm going to be equally fired up uh, for Corbin. You know, uh, uh, next week, obviously, New Mexico representing huge with uh, with uh, with both of you. Obviously, with you know Charlie as uh, as well. Certainly, Gian on the uh, on the girls' side. But this is a great indication of where Jaren Wisner is uh, going to be come uh, November in Arizona. Stay healthy. Congratulations. Thank you.